There was a movie I used to watch too that was almost as dumb as Jim Cotta called Inner Zone. It's this like Italian Mad Max clone. Fuck yeah. Where, but then it's also like Stalker kind of, but there's like a fucking forbidden zone that you can't go into. Oh uh, yeah. And this guy has to go into the zone, and then like it opens up with this Russian roulette scene, but it's like this underground cave where people are drinking poison. Hell yeah. It's this game where you just take shots of like maybe it's poison. <laughs> maybe it's... <laughs> There's this guy that's like the best at the drinking poison that game. That rocks. And Which is no skill. He just keeps getting lucky. Uh, yeah. Or he's cheating. Yeah, something like that. He's like a bounty hunter. But he has to go into the zone, and the zone's controlled by these like inner, these monks. But like one's Chinese, one's just like a middle aged black guy, <laughs> and it's a white guy, and they all like communicate telepathically. <laughs> So you just hear them, they don't, like, their mouths don't move. They just fucking, like, you just hear VO of them, like, thinking Uh to each other. That's awesome. And again, this is another movie I would watch very drunk. So I I got details hazy. But I remember one of the monk's names is Panasonic. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, I gotta get, I gotta watch bad movies again. Yeah. I miss it. Life was so much simpler. Oh, you sucked my dick. Just getting very stoned and watching awful movies. Yeah. I don't know why I'm so fucking tired all of yeah, a sudden. Yeah, I gotta go to Long Island. Here, here we go. Here's the plot of Inner Zone. What do you, what's in Long Island? Fourth of July. It's July 1st. I know. It's the weekend. It's the, the freaking weekend. weekend, baby. I'm about to have me some fun. A supernaturally gifted monk, Panasonic, is sent That's on, incredible. on a mission by his dying master, General Electric. No, no shut up. To protect the inner zone, the last fertile region left on a post-apocalyptic Oh, group okay, cool. Against an invading gang of wasteland raiders. Is Along it? the way, Panasonic is helped by Swan, a roguish road warrior who seeks a rumored treasure hidden within the inner zone, and Tara, an attractive slave girl who Swan <laughs> falls in love with. The Raiders are meanwhile led by Mantis, a female bodybuilder dominatrix, and her sadistic partner, nice. Balkazan. Uh, <laughs> after the defeat of the Raiders, Swan locates the treasure, which is revealed to be a fallout shelter turned archive of some of mankind's greatest achievements. Within her various items, such as books, sculptures, paintings, along with Panasonic brand video cassette recorder that plays a final message from those who preserve the artifacts before the apocalypse. You've got to be kidding me. No. <laughs> Is it a tie-in with the Panasonic Corporation? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, that's why the monks' name is Panasonic. Because the monks are ancient monks, but they get their names from the bullshit that's in the, the Fallout. Before awesome. the, the bomb. Yeah. Where, is there one named Cock Pump? There's a guy named Rabbit Dill.